What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I thought it'd be a really fun idea to have a special guest here. If you guys were here when I first started the YouTube channel, then you remember my best friend George Gilbert and also my mentor in street theater. Hey, what's up guys? So guys, I have a couple different platforms and every now and then I'll get some questions about what we do for a living. And I thought it'd be really cool that we could have an expert be able to help answer some of those questions. But before we get into that... George, tell us about how you became a performer. Well, I think I've been a performer uh, most of my life. Uh, I started performing at a very young age when I was about five, six years old. I started doing magic tricks for my family and friends uh, and all the neighborhood hoodlums uh, of the time. Five or six years old, uh, professionally, I started in 2004. Uh, I was originally going to school. I was going to be an audio engineer. I ended up dropping out of my first courses, mass communications, and uh, started doing um, little sidewalk shows out there in Ocean City, Maryland, same place you started. 2007, uh, I met Eric Evans and Jimmy Talks a lot. Uh, they're two very good street magicians, sidewalk yeah. performers, and uh, they kind of took what I was doing and uh, helped me structure it into a show. Uh, started off as like very, uh, very quick, like seven, eight minute silent show. And then uh, from there, like a 15 minute verbal show. And then uh, eventually, boom, what I'm doing now. I dropped all of the silent stuff, obviously. I'm a verbal comedian uh, and I'm doing a themed show, a tropical themed magic show as the Pineapple Man. It's cool, and I had the opportunity to meet Jimmy talks a lot and Eric Evans and they actually stopped me from becoming a magician to start <laughs> juggling. So yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, I taught Dan some tricks and then had uh, Dan perform them in front of my teachers and they watched those tricks and said, don't ever do that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan actually became a uh, skate artist. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna have a couple quick questions. How do you get over stage fright? How do you get over stage fright? You do shows over and over and over and over and over again, and I don't think you ever get rid of it. Actually, maybe you do get over it, because I know, like, I don't really get nervous whenever I'm doing street shows anymore. Yeah, That's when I'm the most comfortable in life, is when I'm doing a show on the street. Yeah, for me, it's kind of... Yeah. Uh, it's kind of weird because I can do a show out on the street and feel like it's my turf and like, you know, I'm just so comfortable. But when I go inside and I'm doing an indoor gig, that's when like yes. my stomach tightens up. Yes, and because it's different. And I, I think what it is, is a, it's a matter of expectations. Yeah. Um, a performer told me this many years ago. He says, on the street, they already, they already, they don't expect you to be any good. Yeah. All you're doing is surprising them. Yeah. And since you're surprising them, they're, they're rooting for you uh, because like everybody loves an underdog yeah. you're no matter what on the street you're always a work in progress yeah and uh, that's that's another one. you can get a laugh out of any joke out of any joke if a joke doesn't get a laugh you say okay I'll take that out of the show yeah and then they'll laugh at that because they understand that you're a work in progress yeah and that's the benefit to doing a street show but when you go on stage they're expecting you to be good. You have to have a reason to be on stage. Yeah, the wild one, yeah. You, you, you have to know, you have to know why you deserve to be on stage. So it's, it's another kind of confidence. Um, but when you do get that, that nervous feeling when you walk on the stage, because it's a different atmosphere, as soon as you deliver that first line and that first laugh, yeah, get that first laugh, it all goes away. Right? Yeah. It's always good to have a structured show and know what's going on. And I think just over the matter of doing shows over and over again, that's when you ultimately get over that stage break. Right. So let me ask you a question. What, what is your favorite moment from uh, your street theater experience thus far in life? My favorite moment? Your favorite ever moment. I don't even know. 
You don't know. <laughs> I just, it feels like the same thing reoccurring every day. So. <laughs> it's like, all right, back in the office, build a crowd, blah, 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 give me money. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, yeah. actually, I, I think uh, one of my favorite shows that I did over the, this past summer, and you were there, when we were out in Salt Lake, Utah. Salt Lake was a lot of fun. Yeah. Salt Lake was tons of fun. And especially that. Thanks app. to uh, Marcus yeah. for bringing us in. Thank you, Marcus yeah, Wilson. Yeah, Marcus Wilson, yeah. yeah. He was, he was so a much. really good performer. Yeah. There was a really awesome night event show after the festival. It was just like a night show. And yeah, yeah. We all got to do shows. It was high energy. It was a lot of fun. And it just really gave me the that thrill when I was doing it. So that, that's, that's one of my favorite ones. So guys, before we end, I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to comment below if you guys have any questions about what we do for a living or about how performing works. Uh, put a comment below and we'll be able to answer it in a future video. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, you guys can follow George at What's Your Stuff? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Have to, I don't do social media, so you don't have to say anything. Maybe just put it in text later if I. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> you can follow him at George Gilbert Show on Instagram, and he'll be putting out some fun stuff. Maybe I don't know, and. So yeah, go over and follow him. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>